Hey there everybody. I've gotten some questions uh, on my video of how to use 22 long rifle casings as rivets for kydex sheaths and the like, such as this one right here. Most recent question being asked by Ike Turner, who says, how is this done? I would like to try it out. Truth is, it's been so long, I'm not even sure I remember, but I'm gonna show you how I think I remember how to do it right now. First things first, safety. Gotta be safe or be dead. You're gonna find a nice shiny 22 long rifle casing. You can also use a 22 short. I'm gonna be using a CCI casing because I like CCI. So 15 64th. So now we gotta find a 15 64th bit. Now you might have noticed that the drill was grabbing it uh, a little bit as it cut through the plastic. Um, it should probably be spinning at a little bit higher speeds and to keep it from grabbing, but it wasn't too bad. So now we have our hole and we'll check the fit. Check the fit. Might have to wiggle the pieces a little bit. It's a nice tight fit. Now, the next part involves a whacker tool, such as a hammer. I like to use a ball-peen hammer. And a uh, snipping tool, such as a pair of snips. Um, so we're going to cut it down an eighth of an inch from the, the kydex, and I'm just going to snip it right there. And it's going to squeeze the brass. All right, good. And that's why we have safety glasses. Because watch out, because that's going to pop out. Now, but this piece is sharp, so watch out. It's all pointy. Um, I guess what you could probably do, actually, is let's just take those little edges and snip them and kind of see if we can get it to be not quite so pointy. And that might help later on, or it might not. I'm not sure. Now we're going to put it on the side of our weight here, and we're going to smack it with a hammer repeatedly until it does what we want it to. So be careful not to hit your uh, finger. And then boom, look at that. Smashes down flat, just like that. I think, you know, trimming trimming the edges like we did, I think that actually helped a bit. Um, I think it did. And because one of the problems that you kind of run into is this little tiny piece right there. Uh, it, it tends to kind of snag on stuff. So it's a little it's a little snaggy, but maybe maybe we can maybe we can kind of It helps a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe sanding it just a bit or something like that. Anyway, I'm sure you can come up with your own creative solution to that, but that's basically how you do it. Let's now, hey, here's a good lesson for you. Uh, it, if you're making Kydex stuff, uh, anytime you're making Kydex stuff, um, the holes right here, I was gonna, just gonna pop another one in, but it doesn't fit through both of the holes. The reason why is because when we drilled, uh, when I drilled all these holes on the drill press, um, the kydex kind of shifted around. What I usually do if I'm making a holster or a sheath is I will <clears throat> drill a hole and then I'll stick uh, a, a rivet or you know 22 casing in this case, um, stick it in the hole to keep it lined up. Even By the way, anybody who happens to be watching this video for a limited time only, um, I have a bunch of these sheaths that I've made and uh, I, I don't need them because I don't have this many knives. Um, and some of these do have the 22 long rifle casings uh, as the rivets. And I've got, let's see, I've got one for a Mora, another one for a Mora, another one. So three, three for Mora knives. Um, I want to say it's the 710 model, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I'll probably put a, 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 a put the model that it fits in the description below. Uh, I've got a bear claw, CRKT bear claw. And looks like two uh, Spyderco Delica sheaths, like that. This one's got that cool like carbon fiber look to it. Um, so if you want one, I will send you one. Uh, send me a message thingy or something on YouTube with, um, I guess, the address you want me to send it to you, and I will pack it up and send it to you. For a limited time only, so act now, because it won't last very long. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing if you subscribe. Thanks for sharing if you share. And thanks for saying nice things in the comments if that's what you do. If you don't, well, thanks for 
not saying anything worse, I guess. Uh, again, if you, for a limited time only, um, if you want one of these uh, sheaths, these like neck sheaths here that uh, some of them I have made, let me know. I'll try and get those out to you as best I can. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.